What's up everyone, my name is Arthur West and today I am super excited to tell you about a new tool. This product allows you to monetize any data set within a matter of minutes. You can connect to Airtable, CSV, or even Google Sheets. Within a few moments, you'll have your data uploaded, you can slice it, dice it, and begin to monetize it in any way that you want. Let's check it out and show you how easy it is to get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We are at truesource.io, and today we are gonna show you how to build a data product in a matter of minutes without using any code. This is super cool, it's really easy to do, and this is a really exciting product that has a ton of different use cases. So let's go ahead and dive right in and show you how this works. So we have an account, so we're just gonna go ahead and click log in. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for free. So we'll go ahead and click log in. Let this spin up here. While this logging, while this is logging in, it's um, important to note that you can connect a data source here from Airtable, Google Sheets, or even CSV. So that really gives you a lot of options. If you already have your data somewhere like Airtable, you don't have to, you know, download it and then re-upload it to the site. You can just make a direct connection to your Airtable, and then anytime data is updated in Airtable, it would then populate right into your data set that you're working on here. So. Again, Again, we're going to start completely from scratch. We are going to take this data set that we have in Airtable here, which is an employee directory, and we are going to map it into TrueSource, and then we're going to create a beautiful public web page that can be accessed by anyone in the company. You can filter, you can sort, you can arrange the data however you would like. But as you can imagine, you could do this for literally anything, e-commerce or anything in between, and you can even monetize your data, which is super, super cool. But for today, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to create the data set and publish it on the internet. So we're gonna go ahead and create new product. We're gonna call this employees. We have some options here. Like I said, we're gonna choose Airtable. All you have to do is connect your API key. You can get that from Airtable. I already got it here, so I'm not gonna show you where to grab that, but it's really easy to get. The next thing here is that it has you select a base. We have a ton of different bases here in our Airtable, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose Employee Directory. And then it actually just has you choose a table. So within this Airtable, we have different tables. So we just wanna make sure that we choose Employee Directory Apartments over here. So if we jump back here, we're just gonna choose Employee Directory and we're gonna choose Grid View. So that's all that we need to do. We can go ahead and click create product. This is just gonna take a second. It can take longer if this is an extra large data set, but since this data set's relatively small, it's gonna spin up pretty quickly. And right away, we're gonna see that our data set in Airtable is looking really nice here. And it's pulling in a lot of the elements from our Airtable automatically. So all that we need to do is sort of rearrange it to make it look how we want. So. Here's these, this grid item. As you can see, we're pulling in a photo for the title. Let's, let's say we want the title to be the employee name so we can uh, very quickly see our employee's name on the title of this card. Great, that looks good. The other information that we have here in this Airtable is their title, their location, their start date, and all kinds of other information, but I think I wanna show the title right below their employee name so I can click, quickly see sort of what their, what their title is within the organization. So in this subtitle, I'm just gonna scroll down here and choose title. So now I can see the employee name their title, and then we also have this other data in the card, like row number, name, and location. We can actually hide that if we scroll down here. Row number, and we'll hide name, but let's go ahead and keep location. I think that's actually really handy to see the location, great. So along the side here, we have some of our filters. We actually don't need all of these filters. Like we don't need department. We don't need reports to, we don't need email address, we don't need date of birth, we don't need home address, we don't need phone number, we don't need reports to again, we don't need start date, but the rest of these filters might be okay. We don't need a photo filter, right? So 
Very quickly, I removed a bunch of this data that's in our table to just show some relative filters on this left side. Awesome, that's looking really, really good. So now we can change some other things like a banner image on this to make this look really nice. If we go here, we can click this image. We can take an image that we have here, which is employees high-fiving. Let's bring this up, this will load right up. We can rename this directory awesome we can go to the page okay this all looks really good just make sure everything's here we want to click show banner just take a second there we go the banner is showing let's go ahead and click publish and view product all right, this is awesome. In just a matter of five minutes, we were actually to build a data product from our Airtable from scratch that's now living live on the web. This is going to publish up right now. And let's take a look at what this might look like. We could actually share this URL internally within our organization and it would allow everyone within the company to quickly you know, see this employee directory and filter down by things that might be relevant to them. This is a lot easier to use than that Airtable. If we just were to choose location, New York City, for instance, we would quickly see all the employees that are located in the New York City office. If we wanted to see all the employees on leave, we could quickly choose which employees are on leave and just see the employees on leave here. Now keep in mind, this is pulling data from our Airtable, so if we add additional employees to our Airtable, this will sync back here. So that's all I wanna show you today. This is a really cool product. It has a ton of use cases. Try it with any data set in the world. They even give you some sample data sets that you can use to get started with to really show you how you can go deep with your data and make all kinds of different connections and then show front-end filters here. It's really, really cool. Check it out, truesource.io. Have a good day.